Welcome to this stateless code video. And in this video, I'm going to be installing Belina Etcher on an Ubuntu 2404 system. This video is being recorded in late March, 2025. And the current version of Belina Etcher, if we hit click dial, download here is 2.1.0. So uh, Belina Etcher is a, uh, as you can, read here, a utility for flashing images to USB drives, SD cards, anything like that. Useful for setting up Raspberry Pis, for installing bootable OSs onto, uh, to allow you to install, say, a Linux distribution on a desktop, um, that sort of thing. So as noted here, we're gonna be doing this on an, on an Ubuntu 2404 system. You can also download this utility for Windows or Mac OS. This video will be focusing on dealing with Ubuntu Linux. So you have here, if you click on Etcher for Linux and click download here, it will download an app image. My preference is to use a Debian package here. So I'm going to click looking for Debian packages and it will take me to the documentation here. And uh, so what we wanna do is go up to releases. You can see latest here, you wanna click on that. And then we wanna find the amd64.deb package here. If you are on a Raspberry Pi, you'd be choosing the ARM64 image, but we're on desktop Ubuntu on typical hardware here. So now I'm gonna pull up my terminal. You can see I'm already in my downloads directory and then we're gonna do a sudo apt update to make sure that we don't need to update anything on our system. All packages are up to date, like clear here. And now we're going to do sudo apt install dash F and then dot slash Lena Etcher, and you can see I've got 1.18 here from the previous video. Uh, we're gonna do 2.1. I'm gonna hit enter. It has gotten bigger. I think the other one was 260 some odd megabytes. And that warning there is just about the fact that it's an unsandboxed root user doing the install, which is typically what you wind up doing in apt anyway. Now it should be installed. So I should be able to hit the app launcher. It's going to be on the other screen here. I start typing Belina Etcher. And we are good to go. So you can flash from a file, flash from a URL or clone a drive byte for byte, uh, all of which have their uses. There is a note here for, if you're dealing with trying to create a bootable Windows USB drive, um, Etcher notes in the documentation that for Windows, you should use the Windows media creation tool or another tool like Rufus, Rufus or Wo USB that alters the image in order to make it bootable for Windows. So Etcher, will bite for bite get what you need to onto your SD card or your USB drive. So it won't do the alterations that you would need in order to get a bootable Windows image. So that does it for this video. In addition to these occasional setup videos that I do, the primary thing that we do at Stateless Code here is programming videos. So if you wanna learn how to code for the web, learn how to code, Ruby on Rails, I do some Salesforce stuff. I'll probably do an intro to programming um, just in general uh, in the coming months. Uh, like and subscribe to Stateless Code and um, code along. Code along on an end-to-end -end journey through the creation, design, and development of a Ruby on Rails application for managing tabletop role-playing games. We start from Rails new and will guide you along the journey of the entire life cycle of the application. You'll get to see real life, real world problems and challenges as we try to deliver value for our users. 
Visit statelesscode.com to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft. Apple State.